All right, so it's graduation day um, for my uh, little chickens in the big breeder box. Uh, here we have our Rhode Island Red. Um, as you can see, he's been fitted with a little collar. Uh, hopefully I've got the right one. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, this will probably limit his crowing a little bit. He has been crowing. And uh, it'll uh, make it a little bit quieter around here. And he's very friendly, as you can see. Um, almost all chickens start off extremely friendly. Uh, and as they get older, they, they kind of, you know, turn into nasty teenagers. So this guy is right there at that uh, level. So what we're going to do is I'm going to flip this camera around and we're going to release this guy into the front yard. All right. So we've got quite a few people here at the uh, uh, ceremony. And of course, we've got this little guy and some other people. All right, buddy. Are you ready to get out here and enjoy the, well, admittedly it's it's not completely free ranging because we do have fences. Uh, they're just way out there. All right, little guy, there you go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, he hasn't been let go since he put we put the collar on him, so he uh, throws a fit. This is what all, all of our collared uh, uh, chickens do. It's just like a, a dog or a cat that's got their head stuck in a box. They um, try to back out of it. And uh, they also flop around and throw fits. Hey, Rick, you'd be good. It's a baby. Um, of course, at this phase, they're quite fast. Uh, this is a little bit more of a, a fit than I've seen. Although this is probably the youngest I've, uh, I've collared one. Normally because it's hard to tell. And uh, these are the first graduates that are chickens from the brooder box. Uh, these guys are the first ones overall. So uh, this little guy uh, we caught kind of early. Yeah, it's his collar, buddy. So Alaric's very trustworthy with birds for whatever reason. Although anytime they express that much interest in my like to be there <laughs> all right well since this guy's gonna hold still and stay where he's at we'll uh, release some of his friends so it would appear as though all the other chickens that we got um, are are hens so this won't be as interesting but we'll add that too all right so I'm hoping that this one is a uh, a hen as well although uh, if you look at the, the feathers around the neck they are kind of sharp which is what uh, it looks like when it's a rooster but there we go and so these are flocking birds and this one and this one have been hanging out together quite a bit so this is a good way to make sure that that bond stays and they form a like a sub flock and of course We've got some Alaric uh, oversight here. And Alaric is wondering why that thing is not walking around like a normal chicken. We're concerned. But we still have our first class <laughs> graduates. And uh, these guys spend a considerable time with the other chickens. So I have every reason to believe that they'll They'll form a group together. Let's go get another one. All right, so I've got the other Rhode Island Red. And uh, that one was a little bit of a, a difficult toe one to get because somebody had pooped directly on top of the chicken. Hey, Alaric, are you licking that chicken? Stop that. Uh, you are a gross boy. Alaric, leave them alone. This is a kind of a big day for them, not for you. All right, so that's three. We got one more. All right, this one made me grab her kind of weird, so she's like this. These ones are much less excited. In fact, the, the rooster, this guy, well, cockerel, uh, hopped right into my arms. He's going to be a very friendly one, I think. There we go. All right. Uh, so we've got our, 
our four babies from uh yeah we need to adjust your collar pretty good and uh, of course we'll have to adjust this guy's collar too because it's probably going to be too tight as he gets older but uh, they've kind of hit their stride for growth um, probably not going to get uh, bigger what are you doing Ugh. probably not going to get bigger at the same rate anymore they they've kind of hit that teenage thing they're going to get a lot bigger but not all at once what's going on over here i think one of the turkeys is trying to mate with a chicken hey i i would rather have a tadurkin than a ta chicken can we can we do that instead so the turkeys are getting old enough to do uh, start doing that. So um, I think harvest is supposed to be 20 weeks for these guys. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. They're they're awfully cute, but uh, they are going to get way too big for us to just keep them. So either sell or we'll have uh, the pick of several turkeys at uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, you're gonna squish that chicken. Well, so at least that turkey has uh, kind of confirmed that this is going to be a hen, which is fine. So, uh, yeah. So, this one is throwing a fit, though. I don't think I've ever had a, uh, a cockerel throw this much of a fit. Hey, buddy, come in. You're fine. You just have a collar on. So, the collars aren't tight, but... Just like, you know, putting uh, tape on a cat's foot or something like that. Oh, that's cute. Look at you. You probably weigh four pounds. You cannot do that yet. <laughs>